One of the basic and primary tools for process improvement is a process map, also called a flowchart. A process map is often the starting point for improvement efforts. They can be used to demonstrate actions or procedures. Before we can understand a process map, we need to understand what a process is. A process is any activity, usually a number of steps, that receive an input and convert that input to an output. This could include changing raw material into a component or finished product in manufacturing. It could be the steps in the delivery of a service, or it could be acting on information. There are many types and variations of process maps. Here we see five major types. We will focus on the most basic. There are also many different variations of process maps. We'll discuss some of these in future modules. The purpose of creating a process map is to gain an understanding of a process so we can improve it. Process maps are useful for documentation and for training, for certification and other uses. Process maps can help to eliminate written procedures by presenting them in a visual schematic. For high-level business processes that cross functional boundaries, there often is no one person who knows the whole process. This is why we need teams to map processes. The participants in a process mapping exercise should include the people who actually use the process on a daily basis. An example of a business process map might be the process of creating purchase orders. Process maps are appropriate and necessary in nearly any process improvement effort. They should be one of the first things that a process improvement team does. It's important to map the process as it is actually being performed, not the way it was designed or the way the manager thinks it's done. We call this the current state map. As we mentioned, there are many levels of processes. We're going to talk about two, business processes and work processes. Business processes tend to be high-level processes like accounting, customer service, etc. They often cut across functional departments. They also contain work processes. Most processes are also interrelated, with outputs from business processes and work processes being inputs for other processes. Because business processes are high-level processes, they contain multiple work processes. For example, accounting may include billing and tracking accounts receivable. Each step in a business process may contain one or more work processes, which can be mapped separately and will provide much more detail. There are a number of different shapes that can be used to create process maps, and this may vary by industry. There are, these are some examples for manufacturing. For our purposes, we will use only a few. The level of information in a process map can vary, but we are focused on the simplest form. There are many different symbols that can be used, and we're going to show you how to map a process with just three symbols. The symbol for the start or end of the process is an oval or a square with rounded corners. Inside this symbol, it may say start or end. A square or a rectangle is the symbol for a process step. Inside the symbol, you will name the step. Decision points are a diamond shape. They can only have two possible answers, like yes, no, or pass, fail. Usually, one answer will lead to a continuation of the process, and the other answer will either end the process or redirect it. If there are more than two possible outcomes, you might need more decision points. One easy way to map processes with a, with a group is to use sticky notes. As the steps develop, you can rearrange as needed to get the right sequence. A standard sticky note can be turned 45 degrees to use for a decision point. 
When the team is done with the sticky note map, it can be preserved by taking a picture. For a more permanent and professional looking map, the information can be easily transferred to one of many computer programs that have drawing tools. This could be something like Microsoft Word or Excel using the drawing tools function. There's also free software that will do this, such as Google Docs or Sheets or OpenOffice. Visio is software that's designed specifically for this type of application. This is an example of a simple process map. In this case, it's someone's morning routine. Yours is probably different, but it includes begin and end points, a decision point, and multiple steps. One of the biggest challenges for a process mapping team is determining the appropriate level of detail and using it consistently. There's no rule for this. It's a judgment call by the mapping team.